Hello everyone, this is Reza Dorani. In today's video, I will cover three scenarios related to the form control in Power Apps. Scenario number one, checking to see if the user has made any updates to any of the controls or data cards in the form control. Scenario number two, highlighting the columns in which the user has made changes in, we'll add a visual indicator. And scenario number three, which is perfect for tabbed forms or multi-screen forms, wherein once the user goes through the process of filling the form, the final part is to show a summary of all the updates that the user has made. So let's get started with the video, but first, my introduction. The first case we will cover is to check if the form has any unsaved changes. So I have a gallery on the left hand side here and a form control on the right hand side. The gallery and the form control are connected to each other. So if I select a record in the gallery, the form control will showcase that specific record and the user can make modifications to the data in the form control. Now I can make modifications to the data in the form. So let's say I change the estimated end date. Maybe I change this to August 12th and click OK. Now I would like to give the user an indicator that they have made a modification to the form and that that modification has not yet been saved. So for that, I will add a label control, place the label right here. For the text property of the label, I will enter you have unsaved changes. I will just format the label, center align it, and set the color as orange. Now to only show this label when there are changes that have been made to the form, I will head over to the visible property of the label and just use a simple formula which is the name of my form which in this case is form project dot unsaved. So there is a property here called unsave, which will return a Boolean value of true or false, depending on whether a change was made. Because I have made a change to the form, I changed the estimated end date. I have that message being displayed. Let's say I go ahead and update my data. Now, if I go ahead and select a different record, I don't see that message right now. But if I start making changes, let's say I change the approval status to pending. Because I have made a change, and this could be a change in any column in this form control, I will see that message which says you have unsaved changes. Now if I revert this back to the previous value, because it's not a change to the original value of the form, I don't see that message right here. So this is a nice way of giving a visual indicator to the users of a form whether they have any unsafe changes. However, what if the user makes multiple changes? So let's say I change the title to document management. That's a change. I get the message that says you have unsafe changes. And let's say I also change the description. Now the message at the bottom will always say that you have unsaved changes. But what if I want to highlight the columns where the user has actually made a change? Now for that, we would have to write formula for every data card of your form control in order for us to go ahead and give a visual indicator to the user that a change has been made. So for example, let's take the title data card. And for the data card, I will go to the border color property. Now the border color by default in this case is gray. And that's why I see this gray border around my control. If the user has made a change to the data in that card, I will change the border color to let's say orange. So for that, what I can do is if this item dot title, because this is the title column, so I'm getting the value from the title column for this specific record. And I will check to see if this is not equal to the value in this 
specific control. So I have selected the control within the data card. And if you look at the left hand side tree view, it's called data card value one. So I will copy this, go back to my formula, plug this value dot text. So the actual value in the title column, is it different from the value in that control? In this case, it's a text column. So I'm checking the text property. If yes, then plug in the color orange else keep the color as gray and I will close my if condition. Now, if I go ahead and preview my app, because I made a change to the title column, you will notice that it is applying this orange border around it. So that's a visual indicator to the user that they have made a change. Now bear in mind that if I was to create a new form, in case of a new form, the user is always going to add data because they're creating a record. So in this case, if I was to enter any text, it is always going to give me that indication that a change has been made. But in reality, I only need this for the edit form. So for that, I can add an extra condition here, wherein I can check the mode of my form. So the name of my form dot mode is equal to form mode dot edit. That means the form has to be in edit mode and the second criteria, which is the title value of my record. Is it not equal to the value in this control? Now, if I go ahead and preview the app and let's say I create a new record this time, if I put in text, you will note that I don't get the border around it. But if I select an existing record and if I make a change, immediately it will highlight that a change has been made and this time the form is truly in edit mode. Now this concept is something that I can apply to every data card in my form control so that as the user makes changes, I can highlight that to the user. So here is an example of a formula for a date control type column. Once again, I'm checking to see if the form is in edit mode and if the value of my column, which is the estimated start date, is this not equal to the selected date in this control and this control is named data card value two. So here's my formula, which says data card value two dot selected date. If it doesn't match, put the color orange. So if I preview my start date is the 23rd of April. If I change this to the 28th, you will see that it gives me that visual indicator of a change that has been made. And if I revert to the original date, the visual indicator goes away. I'll show you one more formula and this time for a choice column. And this is what my formula looks like. If the form is in edit mode and the choice column dot value not equal to this control, which is data card value four dot selected dot value. So if it doesn't match, put the visual indicator. So if I was to change the estimated duration to one year, for example, I can clearly notice where a change has been made. Now this could be really handy in large forms or forms that have been broken up as tabs. So the user always has that visual indicator of the changes that they have made in the form and also the fact that they have unsaved changes so that they don't forget to hit the update button. Now on similar lines, I have a SharePoint list customized form using power apps. And if I was to edit an item in this SharePoint list, I have my form that opens up and this is a tabbed form wherein the user can select the different options and they basically tab through the different parts before they finally go to the confirmation screen screen, wherein I have a submit button where I can submit my changes or of course I can click on the save button on the top. Now the same concept I have applied here as well. So if I was to make any modifications here, so let's say I change my content type wherein I, I add video to this because I made a change, I get that visual indicator. I can also see that I have unsaved changes and this is extremely handy in tabbed forms. So the user knows that they have unsaved changes and this is true for any tab in my form because I have applied that logic 
to every control. Now another thing that we can add to our form control, specifically in cases around tabbed forms, is as the user makes changes, so let's say this time I remove the video tag, update the description, maybe change a few dates, as the user makes these changes and as they move through the tabbed form, when they go to that final tab, I would like to display the complete details of that form. Basically, give the user a preview of all the data that they have filled out so far before they go and hit the submit button. So for that, in Power Apps, what we can simply do is go to insert and add a form which is of type display, the display form. And this form, I will connect it to that same data source I will position it right here. Maybe I will change this to a one column layout because I have that much real estate. Now for the item property of this form control, I already have a main form. And this is that edit form where the user goes and adds or edits records. Now if I need all the values of the data in this main form, all I have to do now is for my display form that I added, for the item property, simply use main form, which is the name of the control of my edit form, dot updates. And updates will basically give me all the data that is currently in those cards in your main form. So if I just pick updates, this will automatically get all the details from that record. So if I preview the app now, I can see all the data. So let's say I go back to my information tab. Maybe I add a couple more content types here. I update the description. I update the dates for draft due by and published by. So I've made a lot of changes here. Can even go and add attachments. But when I go to this final confirmation screen, all those changes that I just made will all be reflected right here in this one view form and I have unsaved changes. But here, it's like a confirmation to the user that these are the details that you've plugged in. Go ahead and submit them. So I've just gone ahead and published my form. And right here now in my SharePoint list, if I select a record and click edit, so if I start making changes, those will be reflected. I get the message that I have unsaved changes. I make more changes in my different tabs. And finally, when I head to that confirmation screen, I can see all my changes in one place before I go ahead and click summer. So these were some simple tips of checking to see if there are any unsafe changes, highlighting the controls that the user has changed. And finally, how to show the updates that the user has made in a single form. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for watching.